Huffington Post took, 28% of Americans do not know how to cook. This was kind of surprising to me since we have so many home ec classes at high school. Um, and then I really got to thinking and it took me back to a time when I was seven years old and I went to my aunt's house over the summer. I got hungry and asked for some popcorn. So she made me microwave popcorn. Five minutes later, we had fire trucks at our house and they were also calling us. All of the alarms were going off. And I was like, how can someone be so bad at cooking that they burn microwave popcorn? So today, I'm going to tell you about the importance of no cooked snacks and meals, the utensils you need, and the ingredients that this particular recipe calls for. So most of us are going to be leaving for college next year and we'll be staying in dorms. Um, there are no ovens or microwaves in the dorm, which can make cooking healthier snacks rather difficult. Or making, whatever, what did I just say? Cooking, okay. Um, you can also eat at the cafeteria whenever you want, but uh, if you don't want to gain that freshman 15, I would not recommend doing that. Okay, now that I've told you about the importance of no-cook recipes, I will share with you my favorite protein balls. So, the ingredients in this is two-thirds cup of peanut butter. Uh, creamy works best because it helps it stick. And um, it's a good source of protein, so it'll keep you fuller longer. And in here, there's a half cup of chocolate chips, a cup of old-fashioned oats, and a half a cup of ground flaxseed, which um, promotes brain power because of the carbs in it. And then here is just two tablespoons of honey. Okay, and then you just mix it together. And it'll take a while since the um, a lot of sticky ingredients. No <laughs> cooking. Okay, so, <laughs> um, so now that you know the ingredients you need um, and the utensils it takes, like the wooden spoon, uh, measuring cups, and a bowl, um, you just combine all of it together and roll into 18 balls. So you guys can each take one and then pass it down. So even if you are that 28% of Americans who cannot cook, you can still make some pretty tasty snacks. These balls are pretty healthy for you too. Um, they're low calorie and they have almost four grams of protein, which keeps you fuller longer. Not to mention these are way cheaper than what you could buy in the cafeteria. So, now that I've told you the importance of protein balls, the ingredients you need, and the utensils you need, I hope you take a recipe like this to college so you can make a tasty, healthy snack. Thank you.